How we doing everybody? This is Let's Be Real Brad. Today we're going to be talking about my sixth best Pixar film of all time up. Before we start off with this review, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It means the world to me. You guys are liking the video. Subscribe to the channel. You guys are the best. Up is a 2009 computer animated comedy drama adventure film produced by Pixar and distributed by Disney. The film was directed by Pete Docter and co-directed by Bob Peterson. This film won two Academy Awards including Best AMA Feature and three other nominations including Best Picture making it the second animated film in history to ever receive them which was Pixar's first to ever do so following Beauty and the Beast in 1991. It is the ninth highest grossing Pixar film worldwide if you adjust for inflation and it is the seventh most expensive Pixar film making 4.3 times its budget. This is definitely one of my favorite Pixar movies of all time. And I truly think the reason for this is because it has this beautiful charm and likability to it that every time you watch it, you always find something different, especially when you watch this film as a kid and now when I watch it when I'm older, I found so many new and exciting new ways to think about this movie. I actually found myself appreciating the film than I have ever did in my entire life. Let's start off with all the positives here and the first one being the story. I love this imaginative and creative story that is totally crazy and so insane in the real world but it feels like this fun, crazy adventure that we all seek and desire in our own lives. I love the Carl and Ellie story that is truly beautiful. It is clearly Pixar's best little story that they have done, especially with the opening montage that is truly gorgeously realistic beautiful it actually becomes very unpredictable because there's so many crazy and different factors that come into play that you don't necessarily know where that film is going to go and it ends up being a complete thrill ride throughout paul frederickson russell doug and kevin they are a really strange group that i would have never pictured in almost any other pixar film but their weird and different personalities all match up together so perfectly to make for a hilarious and very emotional group that always has a massive screen presence everyone is actually important to the film and without one character in this movie, the movie completely changes. Animation is truly beautiful. I love so many of the meticulous detail that's sprinkled throughout this film. It shows that Pete Docter and his crew clearly wanted to make this movie feel the more realistic as possible. I love the color that bursts off the screen. It is filled in every single scene, especially with the 4K HDR. It only makes this film look so much better. I love the creative design that they chose for each of the characters. This film has truly excellent writing with the dialogue always feeling crisp, genuine, witty, smart, and overall so hilarious, but it never ever forgets to hit you with the most emotional scenes of the entire Pixar library that hits me right in the gut every single time. Every time there's an emotional scene, I just end up tearing up because the movie just does it so gracefully without ever feeling cheesy. And it does it in the most cutest and best way possible. I found that all the dialogue here was never truly fluff, that there's always a purpose to why the characters are given the dialogue that they're given. The movie doesn't have fluff within its story as well. Everything feels important to what the screenwriters wanted, be, and in this way does make the movie's pacing flow by so fast, as most Pixar movies do have incredible pacing, but it's also due to the fantastic writing because with no fluff in the movie, the movie is going to feel like it's fast and it's going to feel like everything is important while watching it. The movie has truly incredible emotional scenes that I truly remember every single time and will never stop getting so emotional during these scenes because they are shot and they're perfectly placed throughout this film. And it just clearly shows that the writers knew exactly what to do to make this movie so great for anyone who watches it. And anyone will get something different out of it. Direction in this film is truly perfect. I think so many of the action sequences 
strongly benefit from the amazing shot selection that the directors and the producers all wanted to make this film look. You can always tell what has happened with the action sequences. They are tons of fun and the more emotional moments truly add with this direction. The way they zoom in on certain characters or how the direction sometimes just tells the story from these wide shots they were given, especially during the Carl and Ellie montage. The original score composed by Michael Giacchino is truly one of my favorites of the entire Pixar library. It earned itself a best original score, which I think it rightfully deserves. Every time they play Ellie's theme, I'm always tearing up. It is just so perfectly gorgeous, so perfectly placed, and it never feels overbearing at any point in the movie. It also adds to super exciting action scenes, especially in that third act. The chase sequences in particular are so much fun. It actually makes this film have this more epic grand scale to it that makes me even more excited while watching it. This movie has so many themes of life and death, of how we as an individual experience those things. And I think the movie does it so particularly fantastic that when you get older, you will find more ways to appreciate this movie. And I think because this movie wasn't pandering to children, that is why this movie will always resonate with me and I will always find something new to love about this. This movie is truly a masterpiece of cinema and I'm going to give this film a 10 out of 10. So guys, where does it rank in your Pixar rankings and what would you give up as a rating? I wanna know all those comments down below in the comment section. And as always, I'll see you guys all in the next video.